Minnesota House Speaker Kurt Dowd announced the Republicans' plan to repair the state's deteriorating infrastructure while he was in Duluth today. Katie Anderson tells us how the plan to fix the state's roadways differs from the governor's plan. $7 billion is how much Republicans want to invest over the next decade to repair or replace deteriorating roads and bridges across Minnesota. They call their plan the Road and Bridge Act of 2015. We've heard loud and clear uh, from Minnesotans that they do not want a gas tax in Minnesota. Governor Mark Dayton has proposed a 6.5% gas tax hike to help pay for his multi-billion dollar infrastructure plan, something many taxpayers are not happy about. Being that last year we had the largest tax increase in history, history in the state of Minnesota and to follow the largest tax, tax increase in history with another gas tax, which is the largest gas tax in history, doesn't make any sense. Jerry Cordesmecki owns London Road Rentals in Duluth. He says an increase in the gas tax could significantly damage his business. So anytime we can leave money in the hands of private people, they're going to spend it, and hopefully in my store and other businesses like mine. Republicans plan to pay in part for their road repair proposal by using money from the existing sales tax on auto parts and rental vehicles. We will also use about a billion dollars of general obligation bonding uh, over the course of the, of the next 10 years, um, which is about half actually of what the governor is proposing. His plan includes about $2 billion of general obligation bonding. Dowd says the Republican plan also includes $280 million in funding for small cities with populations under 5,000. In Duluth, Katie Anderson for KBJR 6 and Range 11. Now this money would go to fix 15,500 miles of roads and 330 bridges 